Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Backlog Banter. I'm Tucker Hitzel, and today I'm here to react to the Miss Marvel trailer. This is a very important moment for me. Now, I know I'm doing this like 10 hours late, but that's beside the point. Miss Marvel is my all-time favorite superhero. I have read most of her comics, most everything she's appeared in. And I was ridiculously excited when this show was announced because that meant that finally the character that I loved was going to become more mainstream. And, you know, there's been ups and downs. We got the casting. Amon Vellani seems awesome. Uh, there's this stuff about her powers, which we'll see how that turns out. And, you know, pros and cons, pros and cons. But regardless, I love Kamala Khan. She's one of my favorite heroes, one of my favorite characters. And this show has potential, of course. And being in the MCU, I, they haven't really fully screwed up anything yet. So I can't wait to watch this trailer. But if you're also excited for Miss Marvel, please join the Discord. We have a Discord server where I will talk about Miss Marvel till the house come home. And I'd love to talk to you about that as well. And of course, subscribe to Backlog Banter, like the video, ring the bell, all of that YouTube nonsense. But without further ado, I'm going to watch this flipping thing. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so she's <laughs> she's imagining the Marvel Studios logo. Okay, so first off, oh, I just want to say, I is it gonna have? You get what? These things. Kamala, Kamala, another adventure shirt. Cute. She thinks I'm some okay. kind of weirdo. Her shirt had uh, Boys. Valkyrie on it, I think. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> you're kind of on my shirt. Sorry. But you're staring out the window in your little fantasy land. Kamala. The, the hey. idea of. Already? Having a, a fangirl character in the MCU. Can't wait for that. Maybe they're right. It's a shot from the original I thing. Spend too much time in fantasy land. That is not to you. And I can't wait to see your family it's and her friends. I love her old sub supporting cast. She's, oh, she's got the bands. That's a fantasy too. So she's not an inhuman, which. Did oh. something happen to you? You know why? Drop. Did you hear something? Come on, Lord. Circle Q! What does it feel like? Cosmic. Whoa. Oh, she kind of stretched. I always thought I wanted this kind of life. But I never imagined any of this. Wow, there's some crazy sets here. You know what you are. This is our first, like, true teen care superhero since Spider-Man, and... Oh, it's... Yes! It's the no normal shot. Oh, my God. That looked really good. I'm blown away by the sets and the variety and the lighting and all of that. It actually looks really high production value. Um, obviously, not a ton of her powers, you know, a couple glimpses, um, but I'm a big Ms. Marvel fan. Obviously, I've said that, but... I'm not too worried about her them changing up her powers. Her not being an inhuman is a little bit unfortunate. I like that side of her character, but I also do like the MCU taking characters and making them fit within their own guidelines. And having to introduce the inhumans was an aspect I wasn't quite sold on because the MCU is already complex enough with multiverse stuff and, and eventually uh, mutants and, and things of that nature for mainstream audiences to follow with. And the inhumans, are, were, are not, not the most important part of the Marvel Universe. So her not having that is not the end-all be-all, um, but just adapting the character, Jersey City, the Circle Q, her supporting cast, it's uh, it's it's what I wanted. And, and it looks like it has a ton of energy. And whew, I, I did, did it say when that's coming out? I don't think it did. I think I would have noticed that. Hold on, checking the end. No, no news. Um, but that's my most anticipated Marvel project um, just because I love the character. And... Uh, it really looks high quality. So I absolutely, I can't, I can't wait to watch that. It looks like so much. Oh, it does that. I'm so blind. June 8th, June 8th. Well, June 8th, the Untitled Marvel Project will be here covering that. And uh, we'll see you guys then.